Hello. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to reset software trials. I will show you several different methods you can try. It's not going to work for every single software, but one of these methods is going to work for most. The first method is to delete registry files from the program. When you uninstall a program in the normal way, it often does not get completely removed, but some stuff on your computer is left that the program can use to check if your trial is expired. I wasn't able to find an example software where it works, but I can still show you how to do it. If you know what you are doing, you can delete these registry files yourself by opening the registry editor and finding the correct files and deleting them. But a better way is using Revo Uninstaller. Click the link in the description and download the program. Install and open Revo. Find your software and uninstall. Leave this box checked. Follow the uninstall instructions. Check advanced and scan. Select all and delete. Again, select all and delete. Now, reinstall the software and check if it worked and the trial have been reset. Now here is another method you can try. Some programs uses the system clock to determine if your trials have expired. You can reset those trials simply by setting your clock back. As an example, this program currently have 9 days left on the trial. To check if it works, right-click on your clock, then click Adjust Date slash Time. Toggle Automatic Time Off. Then click Change and pick a date after the program was installed, but the trial wasn't expired. We can then check if setting the clock back works. This program give this warning, but it's not a problem. We can now see that it says 11 days left. Of course, the problem is that your clock is wrong. The solution is to use a program called Run As Date. Go to the link in the description and download Run As Date. You want the version that's the same as the software you're trying to reset. If the software is 64-bit, download the 64-bit version of Run As Date. Extract and open Run As Date. Find the path of the program you're trying to reset. And set the date to any date within the trial period. Pick a name and create a shortcut. Use this shortcut every time you want to open the program. As you can see, the trial now have 13 days left without changing the date on the computer. The next method is using a virtual machine. Some programs uses a hardware ID to determine if your computer have already used a trial. I tried using the run as date method on this program and got this error message. The way to reset these trials is using a virtual machine. A virtual machine is a program that behaves like a completely separate computer. It's a bit of a hassle, but it's the most effective method of resetting trials. Click the link in the description and download VirtualBox. Pick Windows hosts if you are using a Windows PC and install the program. You also need a ISO file of the operating system you are going to simulate. I will be using Windows 10 on my virtual machine. It does not need to be the same as the operating system you are using on your real PC. Click the link in the description to go to the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool page. Then download and run the program. Pick Create Installation Media. Pick ISO file and save it somewhere on your computer. Wait while it downloads. Now click Finish. Next, open the VirtualBox program. Then click the New button, pick a name and a folder. Now, pick the ISO file you created. Check the Guest Editions box. Allocate memory and CPU. The more you allocate, the faster the virtual machine is going to be but too much and it's going to cause problems and slow down your real computer. 
Now allocate some disk space. If you leave this box unchecked, it's not going to use the disk space until it's needed. Click Finish and the virtual machine will start. Wait while Windows is set up. Now you can install the software and use it through the virtual machine with a new trial period. Depending on the software, you might need to share files between your virtual machine and your real machine. To do this, first create a folder for sharing somewhere on your real computer. Create a text file for testing. Then, find the settings menu of your virtual machine. Click Shared Folders, then Add New Shared Folders. Find the folder you just created. Check Auto Mount and Make Permanent. Click OK. Then, in the virtual machine, open the network folder. Turn on sharing. You can move files to and from this folder to share it with your real computer. When the trial expires again, you are properly going to need to create a new virtual machine to reset the trial again. Whether or not it's worth the effort is up to you. One last tip is using a disposable mail for online trials. As an example, here is a site that offers VFXs and sound effects. Some are free and some are behind a paywall. But you are also limited to five downloads per day with a free account. The way to download more than five per day would be to create a bunch of emails and using those to make multiple accounts. The most convenient way to do this is to use a disposable mail service. In a new tab, go to tempmail.org. Copy the mail here and use it to sign up with. After sign up, you will often receive an email with a confirmation link. Open the mail and click the link. And now you have five more free downloads. A quick bonus tip. If a trial require your credit card, you can use a virtual card with no funds to sign up with instead. This way, if you forget to cancel before the trial expires, you won't get charged. The payment would get rejected due to insufficient funds and your membership get automatically canceled. An example of a service that offers this for free is Revolut. If this was useful, like and subscribe.